Hello, everyone. We're going to show you how to set up a bike chain using VRF Plus Pro. Let's get started. First, we'll create a Bezier curve. Press Shift plus A to bring up the menu. Then select Curve and choose Circle. Next, position the Bezier Circle object where it's needed. Go into edit mode, then rotate it to align with the gear's orientation. Now scale it down to match the size of the gear. Then select three Bezier control points as shown in the video. Press E on your keyboard and move the handle toward the rear gear. Adjust the Bezier handles like we're doing in the video until the Bezier curve looks just right. Next, we'll add another Bezier handle by selecting two handles and pressing W on the keyboard, then choose Subdivide. Do the same for the lower part. Select two handles, press W, and choose Subdivide. Okay, now the Bezier curve looks the way we want. Let's rename the Bezier curve object to Bike Chain Curve. Finally, the Bezier curve object is complete. Now we'll use the Array Object Along Spline tool. But before that, let's take a look at the chain object that's been prepared. Let's begin. Select the Bezier curve, go to the end panel, and in the Vehicle Rig Factory tab, you'll see the Array Object Along Spline tool. Then select the chain object as the target. Click the Create Array Object button. Next, We'll adjust the number of chain links and the spacing between them so they fit as we want. You can see how it's done in the video. like the chain array object is done. If we check the collection, you'll notice a lot of chain objects have been created, so we'll need to organize them to make them easier to manage. We'll also hide the master chain since it's no longer needed. Finally, the chain array setup is complete. See you in the next video.